Temple has stayed in a case behind the BC Supercentre in North Pattaya. The chief monk decided to disrobe the monk who was handed to police who are considering pressing criminal charges against the former monk. <laughs> A press conference now from Pattaya Police Station's undercover unit to arrest a Kung Kong Grit, aged 28, and a 28 year old female. Both were arrested on suspicion of dealing in a class 1 drug, namely crystal methamphetamine known here in Thailand as Yar Ice. Kung Kong Grit was caught with 1.8 grams of the drug during a covert operation in house number 138-227 in Pattaya NDA Subdistrict in Bangalore. He had been tracked by police for some time. Seven mobile phones were taken as evidence as they attempt to build a case against the man who is currently facing possession charges, which could be elevated to dealing charges at the conclusion of the investigation. <laughs> on Friday afternoon, a complaint was made at Dongtan Police Substation on Jongtian Beach by Kun Seng Anan, aged 17, who claimed that he had just become the victim of an armed robbery on the Sukhumi Road in Jongtian. He explained to the police that as he was riding along the road, three men, one of which was concealing his face with a bad clava, pulled up beside him and forced him off the road. The masked man was carrying a gun and demanded the young man hand over his cash and other valuables. He wisely complied and handed over 400 baht, two mobile phones and his motorbike key. The three men left on their motorbike, leaving Kun Sang Anand stranded on the Sukhavit Road. He eventually made his way to the police station and reported the incident, which is now being urgently investigated by police. <coughs> Police Major Pumi Patch from Pattaya Police Station was called to the Pattaya Memorial Hospital at 11.30 on Friday night to investigate a foreign man who had sustained multiple injuries. Mr. Adam Meadens, aged 46 from Australia, was admitted in a semi-conscious state but could not explain what caused him to sustain his injuries. He was sent to hospital by a member of the public who saw the man lying in the street near the Siam Bayshore Hotel in South Pattaya. Mr. Meadens, who sustained facial injuries and other superficial wounds, could not explain what had happened but he will be questioned further when he recovers. A terrible case of murder now from the southern section of John Tien Beach in front of Soy 18. Police Colonel Su Tin, the Chief of Patio Police, was one of many officers to attend this case after receiving information of two foreign women who had apparently been discovered dead on the beach. At the scene, these two women were identified as Miss Tatiana Simfa, aged 30, and Miss Lubov Sertova, aged 25, both Russian nationals. They were both slumped over deck chairs. In front of them was a half empty whiskey bottle and a can of Coke. Other items, including a mobile phone and money belonging to the pair, were also found, suggesting this was not a robbery. Miss Vimper sustained one gunshot wound to her stomach and left leg, and Miss Verkova sustained a shot to her right arm and the center of her chest. Both were confirmed dead at the scene by a forensic doctor who confirmed the pair had been shot no more than one hour before authorities arrived at the scene. We spoke with a security guard who works at the nearby Anna condo hotel, who mentioned that he remembered seeing the two Russian women at around 4 o'clock in the morning. They were drinking and would occasionally go for a swim. Just before 6 a.m., the security guard heard screams from the two women and four shots were heard. He then saw an unidentified Thai man leaving the scene on a motorbike. Late on Saturday morning, Police Lieutenant General Asa Wing, the Region 2 Commander of Police, came to John Tien to inspect the crime scene. He took a few moments to speak with the press and confirmed that a dedicated murder investigation team has been assigned to this case. The team is currently inspecting CCTV pictures from cameras located along the beach, and a separate unit is producing detailed profiles of both victims in conjunction with the Russian Embassy. He confirmed that the pair checked in to the Dragon Beach Resort Hotel, located only 100 metres from the murder scene on the 16th of February, and were due to check out on the 3rd of March. It is believed at this point that they travelled alone. Information concerning a possible suspect points to a deck chair attendant working in the area who failed to appear for work on Saturday afternoon. Suggestions of a possible dispute between the Russian victims and the attendant are being investigated, and please confirm they have full details of the attendant and are currently searching for him. We expect further updates on this murder case over the coming days, and we'll of course bring them to you right here on Pattaya City News.